I just want to show you something here. So you can see, I think you can see the ribs um, on this elastic. And I just want to show you, if you cut it along a rib and you stay between those two um, ridges, the elastic is not going to fray. And I just want to show you what happens. So see, I'm just staying right with that. Now I'm going to jump over one and keep going down another one. I want to show you what happens to this elastic. All right, so, okay, so just to show you, you can see here that this elastic is not fraying, okay? I can really stretch this, I can rub it, I can um, work with it, and it's not gonna fray. Where it will fray is if you jump a ridge, and you can see here, it's fraying. And But the cool thing is, if you pull out the cut ridge, Okay, it's not going to fray further. All right, so even though this looks fuzzy now, um, the damage is done. Okay, so it's it's stopped now because the cut ridge that you cut through, if you cut through one by accident, um, you know, it won't fray further onto that. So this is a little skinny, maybe a generous quarter inch, and you can see it's really durable and stretchy even if I play with it. So I just wanted to point that out for people, you know, if they've purchased this elastic. So that's just a little thing I wanted to show about this cut through, sew through elastic. Um, and I do have plenty of it in my store if anybody is looking for elastic to make masks. It does make really nice because it lays flat and it's smooth. You know, I do have that in stock. But I wanted to just show how it would fray and it would only fray through the little ridge that you cut through. All right, so that's the one thing I wanted to talk about with the elastic.